Okay, I found a trade that just might work for the Lions. I want to show it to you, see see what you think about it. And it's a way to bolster our defensive line. So recently, Dan Campbell came out and he was asked, hey, are you concerned about the defensive line? It's a little quicker, leaner. It's not as big. And he gave an answer. Thank you. Unlike Matt Patricia. And he said, yeah, it's something we're watching. And what he means is, you know, in training camp, we're going to have to see. I mean, if we can't stop the run, if we're getting pushed around. So we, we believe on defense between scheme and the right players and getting creative. We can get pressure. We can get be disruptive. But maybe you just can't, right? Maybe at the end of the day, you, you just um, need some more beef. So we signed um, Isaiah Bugs a, a couple weeks ago to provide some beef when Penasini retired. But we still have some like leaner guys. So on the depth chart right now, I mean, you can see that we have Aleem McNeil, Brockers, Levi, and Cornell. And those guys are big, obviously, but they're not. I mean, you need that 320 pounder, like on a goal line situation or on a big situation. Wh who do you have? So I, I, like I said, we signed a guy a couple weeks ago, but I've got a trade to get us this like upgraded. Let's like let's upgrade right away and get over with this. So, um. It's an article. Let me pull it up and see what you think here. So it's a way to get Darren Payne from the commander. So he was taken 13th overall um, out of Alabama. The guy has played four years, and he's entering his final year of his contract. And it doesn't look like the commanders are basically going to have room for him when you look at all the different um, players that are coming and going and who's under contract. It doesn't look like he's going to come back. So he looks like a guy that's a great uh, trade piece so it looks like he's only missed like one or two games in, in four years he's played so he's durable he's a big dude Alabama and this is how the trade would go down we'd get Darren Payne former like I said number 13 overall pick and the commanders get a 2023 second round pick that's the big one there and then to balance it out a little bit we will give you Michael Brocker so the thing I love about Payne and I'll tell you whether or not I like this trade or whether I don't. And I really like it and I don't like it. So I'll get to that, the pros and cons of this. But like I said, 13, 13 overall, he'll turn 25 in May. So he's right in his prime. And he's an ideal spot for the Lions because we we just don't have that elite beef. I don't know how else to say it. Like we got some guys, we're developing our, our defensive line. That's a big thing that we had to do after Patricia was here. We just had no defensive line. So we've got Hutchinson, we've got Charles Harris. We're developing the defensive line. We we sign a lean, we get Levi. Those guys are all good and we've got something, but where is that big guy? And this guy fits it, right? So Payne is, I mean, I think he's 320 pounds, 6'2". That's what I'm talking about, that big guy that can eat eat up the middle. So here's why I like and here's what I don't like. I like this because you're instantly better. You're better. You know, It doesn't matter what you think, what you gave up. At the end of the day, the players that you have on the field, you have made your defensive line better, added depth. And the big thing is these big guys, like good guys like this, still 25, you know, he's not 32. You're just hard to find. You can't find these guys. So you got to pull off a trade like this. So at the end of the day, you pull off this trade. I like this because you get better and you get better immediately. So again, Brett or Dan Campbell said he's watching this. So this is something that we can look for if if we're just if we can't stop the run. Like I mean, come on. Like I don't even I don't want to go through the season. I know Dan Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes got to be thinking the same thing. Like there's no way we're going to go through this whole season and not stop the run. We saw that last year. We've seen that really for the last I don't even know how many years. We just it's like, okay, can't stop the run. And this is just painful because it's just run, run, play action, run, 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 pass, run. It's, you know, you know, when someone's running against you. So that's why I like the trade. I cannot go through another season watching us get run all over. So make this, make that trade. If, if you feel like you need to, um, because we can't stop anybody. The reason I don't like this trade, it doesn't fit our timeline exactly. And can you be patient again in the NFL? Can, you don't want to give up a second overall or a second round pick. Um, but you also, you get, you got to be patient and it's like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that, but it's like, we're all, we're getting there. So I don't want to give up a second round pick for a guy that's going in the final year of his contract. He'll need a new deal. Don't know what that looks like. Don't know how it fits in with us. So can we be patient? Another thing is Michael Brockers. So I know he's not, you know, he's 30, he's older now and in, but he came to Detroit. He was traded. We got him for like a 
this year's seventh round pick, right? Basically nothing. They were going to cut him anyway. We take him and he's done nothing but come to this bad franchise that is losing bad everything and just be a good like spokesperson. I don't know if you've heard him out there. He's done radio interviews and he just says good things keeps. I mean, it's like, thank you. Thank you for doing that. And so you're almost, you're taking out a veteran leader that again, I don't see Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes being the type that just rips apart locker rooms. I mean, and I don't think Michael Brockers is ripping apart the locker room, but it definitely plays to that. And it's like, man, we're kind of building this. Brockers been a big part. Like you bring another guy in. So, and it doesn't quite fit our timeline because we really, we want to be good this year, of course, but we're building towards it. So that's what I don't like. And that's what I like. So let me know in the comments, if you like a trade like this and that article, by the way, was from fan sided, make sure I give them credit. So fan sided sideline report, check them out What the, the podcast was right here. Drinking the blue Kool-Aid, a Detroit Lions podcast. Love it. So um, make sure you check on that right there. Drinking the blue Kool-Aid um, fan-sided sideline report. So check them out. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this trade, if it's something that should go down, and we'll see you on the next one.